You should watch Guptail89 doing your mom video. Why does that name sound familiar? Who is this reminding me of? Oh, it's the, the guy that made the Sonic video. Wait, what? who did this remind me of? What was that one guy that, uh, nobody in chat's gonna remember this. But back in the day in like the gaming community, there was like this one channel that would just review games horribly. He had like a terrible reputation. He wasn't like a major locale. I feel like I was the only guy who like knew about his channel, but he used to have some videos that were like, got a bunch of views. What was it? I thought his name was something like this. This. There's no possible way anybody in chat knows who I'm talking about. Oh, no, no shit. Somebody got it. It was something like this. Oh my God. This fucking dude. How did somebody in chat? Wait, how did somebody get that? Literally, how did some like literally how? I was literally watching him earlier. Holy shit. I haven't watched this guy in like seven years. Hey gamers. Oh yeah. It's me. And today I'm vlogging again because I got a big thing to talk about, okay? So basically, I got enough good boy points to get me a car. This means that I could do numerous things. Like, um... <laughs> That's exactly how I was like when I got a new car. Hey guys, I have a new car. Now I can do things. Ha <laughs> you know what I mean? This is literally Smaggle if Smaggle had a channel. Like, no lie. Like, this guy's entire channel. And the reason why I say that is because he gets shit on. Again, he wasn't a major locale, but anybody that knew who he was, like, they hated this guy. And I was, like, one of the few people that would, like, lurk around on his channel and shit. I'm surprised like, he can drive. This also means I can go to Arby's and other fast food places whenever I get enough good boy points and get my favorite menu items. This guy is so awesome. And my favorite menu item is the chicken tendies. <laughs> or... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh yeah. This means that I can drive there. Oh boy guys. <laughs> I got a new car. <laughs> Can't wait to get some chicken tendies. <laughs> and today I'm going to be going off in my quest to get chicken tendies. Jesus Christ, why is this car so loud? And it's a cheap car from Craigslist, <laughs> but it lets me go to my favorite anime conventions. All right, this has so to be my a joke. There's no way. I'm not driving me. So this means that I can go to Arby's whenever I want. Should put the car into gear and go to Arby's to get some chicken tendies. All right. Somebody said this is the average Wall Street's best user. Aren't those guys supposed to be like smart though? Like this guy is literally a retard. I've just gotten to Arby's, taking the keys out and everything. And as you can see, I'm currently at Arby's. So here's the thing. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I've driven here to get the best chicken tendies because I really hope they are the best and take them to my car and eat them on camera like a true neat. Because here's the thing, I'm a neat, okay? I usually eat the food that my parents cook me, but it's not the best. And unless I get good boy points, I can't go out to like Arby's and get the best chicken tendies. I mean, usually I have to try to get her to make me get chicken tendies by kicking and screaming and hitting the plate when she brings it into my room. Yeah, when I Neat lives matter, all right. Not playing Team Fortress 2 in Overwatch. But usually, I have to hit the plate and scream at her to tell her that she needs to go to Arby's and get me some chicken tendies or McDonald's or wherever. And here's the other thing, okay? I can't get a job. I tried applying at Subway. You know what? They were asking me math questions. I mean, Dude, this so guy's fucking math. nose and his teeth gap, like, match. Like, the position of his nostrils and his two front teeth are, like, the same. In middle school, I just used a calculator. And now they're asking me to do math questions without using a calculator just to get a job at Subway? I mean, come on. It's 2016. And you know what I need? I need a job. <laughs> but nobody's gonna hire me because I don't have any work experience. And mm. I can't put playing video games as work experience because they don't count that. And good boy points don't buy many things. However, they do. What do you do. think he means when he says good boy points? Like, what does that actually mean? So I'm going to go into Arby's. I'm going to get some chicken tendies and a Mountain Dew 
Okay. I'm gonna eat them. In the this point car. of this video is a chicken tendies review, but he's talking about like all this video is so far. It's just him talking. It's just him creaming over his car because now that he has a car, he can do things. And then he's also just ranting about his mom the entire video. It's awesome. All right. So I've got this big drink. And as you can see, this is a huge drink. I mean, this is a great size drink, especially if you want to sit around all day and play Xbox. Or Bullshit, that drink would last me like 20 minutes. They smash and watch smash. Whoa, 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 what did you say? Hold on. <laughs> Roll the tape back there, hold on. Especially if you want to sit around all day and play Xbox or play smash. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, this drink would last me a long time, dude. I Trust me, I'd just be sitting around playing Xbox and smashing. <laughs> and this drink would just last me the whole day while I'm smashing and playing Xbox watch smash tourneys if and you want to do that smash this is the best drink <laughs> the drink, because of the drink is good for smashing dude hell yeah how big it is i wish they offered mountain dew kickstart like taco bell did i drank like a whole like cup of that that was this big and i didn't sleep that night i just played video games like a real gamer anyways it's in the bag these chicken tendies this guy is literally a king and they are all in this medium-sized fry cup. All five of these chicken tendies. Now, they don't tell you what they are. Like, let's eat one of these. Let's eat one of these chicken tendies like a man. Like a man. It's like, let's put some <laughs> camera. <laughs> like a man. Okay, let's eat one of these chicken tendies. Oh, man, look. Look at this. Look at this nice... Nice chicken tendy, oh man, I me. Mean, it smells like chicken. I, I, my mouth's already watering. <laughs> Shit! The RV and these nice hot chicken tendies. Mmm, real hot. Okay, dude. Mm -hmm. Not even any. You're not gonna put any like. Di you're not gonna dip it in anything. You're just gonna eat it raw. Why? Mmm. Okay, dude. There's some good stuff right here. Tastes like chicken. It's got the nice um. Look like at the camera it. angle. He's just low enough to where, like, you can't really tell what he's doing with his mouth, so it looks like he's, like, sucking somebody off or something. So, like, the other day wasn't that good, okay? Ben's face reveal. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is what Ben looks like. Or like my mom. I was trying to talk to her, okay? I was trying to talk to my mom. Yeah? He's still She's ranting like about his mom, dude. This video was a personal thing for him. He wanted to make this and upload this just so he could show his mom and just be like, remember when you didn't give me enough good boy points? Yeah? Well, here I am. Now that I have my car, I can eat chicken tendies whenever I want. And not your shitty tendies. Not your dog shit that you cook up. No, no, no. The real shit at Arby's. I'm eating it right now without any good boy points. So, bow down. Hey, hey, what do you want, Jake? You got enough good boy points. What do you want? Again? Yeah, I told her. Shadow the Hedgehog body pillow. Nice. It's what I really want. She's like, no, Jake, no, 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 you're not gay now. I'm like, why? You're not I what? Started... You're not gay? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what did she say? What? No, Jake, no, 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 you're not gay now. I'm like, what did he say? I, the only thing I heard was, no, 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 Jake, you're not gay. Because no, Jake, you need to like spend your money, his time on doing stuff that lets you get a job. I started screaming at her. What? Why did he cut after that? And then I screamed at her. See, what he cut out was what he, like, you know, the rest of the story, where he was, like, beating the shit out of her. So, like, my mom... Oh, never mind. We actually have the real story. She didn't understand why. <laughs> He's, like, review bra with downs. Yeah, literally. I asked her to specifically buy me one of those. She just didn't understand. You just did not understand why I wanted her to buy me one of those Sonic the Hedgehog body pillows. Especially one in Shadow the Hedgehog. But here's the you thing- You know, I want to point something out, right? I clicked on this video not expecting it to be Sonic, but somehow every video that we watch is like infested with cancer. It always has something to do with Sonic. It's like when we watched that one video of the guy who was like threatened to like murder me and Boblax. And of course he had like a Sonic plushie hanging in the back. Like that didn't have to be there. It shouldn't have been there, but it was. Like every video you watch that has cancer, it always has something to do with Sonic. Well, we're watching a Chicken Tinnies review, all right? It didn't have to be Sonic, but of course Sonic's in this video somehow. Who oh, I am. I just want to huggle a body pillow. And that's all I want to do. I just want to hug one as I sit in my basement, surrounded by my computer, by my anime posters, 
and buy my Nintendo Wii U and my Xbox One and my Asus gaming laptop. My Asus. She didn't understand that. She had no idea why I specifically wanted that. But of course, now she does. Now she'll know when I get home after eating these chicken tendies why I wanted her to buy me a Shadow the Hedgehog body pillow. I also wanted her to get me a bad dragon, and I also wanted her to eat- <laughs> Wait, whoa, chill. <laughs> of, of course, you know what? Yeah, of course. Anthrocon. And she said, no, you, you don't. I also said <laughs> a real high amount of good boy points so you can never do it. And I started screaming at her and crying for a few hours. Nice. Well, same time. Same time now, at least I got beef. This will make me forget my problems. This will make me forget my problems. All of them. Now make me forget the fact that I'm a neat still. That I'm living with my mom. Now make me Is forget- Is this the same stuff I do? Yeah, tell us about it, Bubble X. Because I have chicken tendies. And that made me forget all my problems. Every single one of my problems I can forget about. Because I got my Arby's chicken tendies. Nice. And these are some real good stuff. I'd recommend eating these again. Especially if you're like me, living in your basement, kicking and screaming at your mom. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I was joking about him beating his mom. I didn't know that was actually in the video. He said, whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that noise? Who eats chicken tinnies and just, you know, they're like, oh, yeah. And that's all I need to be said. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And please donate to my Patreon so I can buy more Patreon. Yeah, how could I not? So what is he uploading now? It's five years later after that video came out and he's still creaming about owning a car. He looks the exact same. <laughs> the power of the song was too much that he literally it ripped the mask right off of his face It's not even the video where he's like singing the song. He's just like slightly mumbling it You know like when you're like hanging out with somebody and they just like mumble the song instead of like outright sing it because you know They're embarrassed or something. Oh now he's into it Alright, I object to this video. He's not even driving. Like, whenever you listen to the song when you're driving, you're going like 130 or something on the highway. But he's not. He's in a fucking drive through Probably getting more nuggies. He's, he's picking up his food while doing this video. Like, can you imagine what the what the staff at whatever he whatever shithole Arby's he's at? Can you imagine the Ar uh, the Arby's girl? <laughs> Handing him his nuggies <laughs> and just witnessing this like I want to see the video from her perspective Like I want to see the Arby's girl like recording this from like her fucking window Just like him just standing there like awkwardly like stationary in his car. This guy's literally awesome He's eyeing her down while he's <laughs> While he's moving <laughs> no lie though. I would actually hang out with this guy free melee Nintendo screws their fans again Oh, that's why everybody hated him because he used to call it Nintendo all the time Honestly nowadays his channel would probably succeed because everybody calls on Nintendo Yo, Safan through five says whenever you hear that song you're going at 130 on the highway Aki knows where it's at gotta respect big time. Yeah, literally. I mean it's tradition, you know when that song comes on uh, Not that I would advocate for you know b violating speeding laws, but like, you know you know what you do when that song comes on. You know, sometimes if you just want to get away from all the crazy stuff that goes on... He still somehow has a better microphone than Keemstar when he calls Nara streams. It's good to pick up a hobby of some sort. You gotta love installing operating systems. That's such a shit hobby. Who cares? Hey, everybody. 
today I'm going to be talking about Nintendo and why big multi-million dollar corporations are not your friends. So true. So, like, actually, unironically true. What else does he do? Bread tubing. Oh, wait a minute. No way. Hey gamers, what's up, dude? Um, when people say bread tuber, this guy is like a literal bread tuber, dude. He reviews bread. <laughs> Hey, this this is awesome. It's been a while since I've made YouTube videos <laughs> for quite a few reasons. Um, it, you know, you get like real life, you get a job, you get um, you get stuff you have to do with your yeah, house. yeah. No, I hear that. All right, let's review the bread. Pretzel is the packaging's a pain, but they package this all up now because of that coronavirus, <laughs> and you can't just grab it anymore. So it's got to sit in this bag. Jesus, and it's a little soggy, it's a big ass see? pretzel. This is the only bread tuber I'd ever listened to. If Xanarol's content was like this, dude, he would be bigger than Vosh. Don't know if it's from rain, moisture in the store, or what. This bread ain't that great. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that noise? Dude, this bread ain't that great. Uh, he just starts like shitting himself. Mm, this texture is awful. And the sogginess is what kills this bread, okay? And I'm hungry as hell, but holy shit. <laughs> The reason I got these without salt. What a mood, dude. I know I'm hungry as hell, but I'm eating something that literally tastes like complete dog shit. Soylent? No! We lost him. He drank soy? Hello, everybody. It's me, Jake. Every video sounds different. I'm a 23-year-old man who works at a grocery store, and my hobbies are playing video games the second I get home until I fall asleep, and playing video games and browsing the internet and wishing that I was friends with fictional characters. Now, the problem here is, you know what gets in the way of that? Actually eating. This guy is literally Boblax. Isn't Boblax like 23 or something? Now, normally I'd go to the microwave and I'd put some hot pockets in and eat yes. hot pockets in microwave white castles. But I've heard from a YouTube commercial that there's this new drink out there called Soylent. Yeah, new drink. In 2019, before 2019, there's no such thing as soy. Cafe, vanilla, and whatever, and has the caffeine and the nutrients I need to stay up all night playing video games. So, let's get this thing open and, um... <laughs> nice. Oh my god, dude. He's so faced. <laughs> He's awesome. Now, Soylent is a very good drink for gaming because it has all the nutrients I need in it as a gamer. <laughs> so fun. I just about coffee and soy mixing together. <laughs> He's so great. <laughs> now, let's open this up. And I'm going to tell you about why I love Soylent. Mine is the greatest drink I've ever, I've ever drank. He hasn't even tried it yet. In my entire life, as a gamer. Ooh, some sun on my, on my steering wheel. Damn, he's down in that shit. Jesus, dude, chill. You can literally hear, like, the entire, dig you know, digestive process. <laughs> I don't need to eat anymore. I don't need to eat anymore. I got the soy in my system. I don't need to eat anymore. Because I got the soy in my system. And there's all the nutrients I need. And there's all the nutrients I need. From a gaming session. And there's all the nutrients I need from a gaming session. And... I I don't know why I continue to even do this. You see, Soylent, it, it's the best. I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. But I love Soylent. It's, it lets me, lets me play longer. And that means I can distract myself from inevitably wanting to die. Because my fictional video game character boyfriends aren't real. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's awesome. This guy is great. <laughs>
All right, one more, just one more. Yo, what is up, everybody? It's me, back at it again with another video. There's so yeah. much happening in this video already. The Sega CD intro music, which is a great track, by the way, for fucking intro music to the Sega CD. I mean, it's a great track, but why is that on the TV right now? He's a base Christian, believer in in Christ. I guess there's not much else happening in the video. I don't know. Both these things caught me off guard here. The game developers and all the people on social media have decided that gaming isn't about gaming anymore. It's about making games for every little demographic on planet Earth, and specifically these demographics, because they've realized that every demographic needs to have a game of some sort. Even if it's just a walking simulator where you hold the up button and you talk to stuff. I mean, come on. Who wants that? But hey, they decided that every single group on Earth needs a game. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. There is one minority group that's very underrepresented. Hear about, like, Xbox supporting all these other... All these other people who are- If he's gonna say furries are the most oppressed group in gaming, how? They literally have Sonic. And literally every other game series that features some furry animal as the main mascot that their fan base inevitably ruins by making a bunch of furry porn out of. Like, if you're, if you're gonna say furry, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I think I found his first miss. This is his first video I disagree with. And stuff. You hear about how Xbox is all for the LGBT plus BBQ 69 this, 69 that. <laughs> <laughs> he shits on LGBT. I don't know. I don't even know what all those letters mean because they come up with new ones every other month. <laughs> and I, I see this all the time, but there is one group, one group that needs more representation than any other group. I mean, all these other groups, I mean, they get plenty of representation. Don't believe me? Look at how, like, Overwatch, that they have to say that, oh, every character is gay. But... There's one group that's underrepresented, and that is furries. How? Now, see, the thing with game developers is they've ignored this lucrative demographic that actually buys stuff. Don't believe me? Look at how whenever there's a game made with, like, furries in it, you'll see furries at every convention wearing clothing based on, um, whatever, like, this new game is. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna buy a Night in the Woods hat that says crimes on it. Even though I'm not badass enough to get into like a 100 mile police chase or <laughs> do anything more. <laughs> what is he talking about? But a lot of these game developers ignore this very lucrative and oppressed demographic that has tons of money. And, and they, they prove they spend money. So these game developers, they need to start pandering to furries. Because furries buy shit. <laughs> furries will buy anything that has furries in it. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, sure, the problem is here is that furries don't make their own games. I mean, hell, furries don't even know what their own fandom is. Furries are the kind of people, when you ask them, what's the identity of the furry fandom? What's the direction of the furry fandom? They'll say, oh, it's an LGBTQA6 whatever safe space, sex positive community, and AIDS testing at furry conventions is a good thing because it enforces how sex positive it is. That, that's, AIDS? that's what the furry fandom's like, people. AIDS testing? <laughs> Wait. That's what the furry fandom is like. Take it from a furry. That's what the furry fandom is like. So, the thing is, game developers could make ass loads of money making games with furries now. I'd say furries could, could try it themselves, but they only make visual novels, usually. Sometimes they have, like, a platform or two. But usually they make visual novels, and, and nobody cares about visual novels, okay? I, I mean, shit, every fur- if, if all these furries went into game development, instead of sitting on social media complaining about other furries, complaining about people saying something on their Twitter feed five years ago, or if, if they- if they put money towards things that- I agree. Aren't he won me back. He, he, uh, he convinced me. Why communism is better than capitalism. Life as a furry. Woke game devs. Discord censoring groups. I told you so. Nintendo fans, the most loyal sheep in gaming. Wii U in production. Nintendo denies it. Oh, the great scandal. Okay, well, that's enough YouTube for now.